The Solar Dynamics Observatory (SDO) is a NASA mission which has been observing the sun since 2010. Launched on February 11, 2010, the observatory is part of the Living with a Star (LWS) program. The goal of the LWS program is to develop the scientific understanding necessary to effectively address those aspects of the connected sun-earth system directly affecting life and society. The goal of the SDO is to understand the influence of the Sun on the Earth and near-Earth space by studying the solar atmosphere on small scales of space and time and in many wavelengths simultaneously. SDO has been investigating how the Sun's magnetic field is generated and structured, how this stored magnetic energy is converted and released into the heliosphere and geospace in the form of solar wind, energetic particles, and variations in the solar irradiance. Topic General The SDO spacecraft was developed at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, and launched on February 11, 2010, from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. The primary mission is scheduled to last five years and three months, with expendables expected to last for ten years. Some consider SDO to be a follow on mission to the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. SOHO. SDO is a three axis stabilized spacecraft, with two solar arrays, and two high gain antennas, in an inclined geosynchronous orbit around Earth. The spacecraft includes three instruments the Extreme Ultraviolet Variability Experiment, built in partnership with the University of Colorado at Baldur's Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics, the Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager, built in partnership with Stanford University, and the Atmospheric Imaging Assembly, built in partnership with the Lockheed Martin Solar and Astrophysics Laboratory. Data which is collected by the craft is made available as soon as possible, after it is received. Topic Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager HMI The Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager HMI led from Stanford University in Stanford California studies solar variability and characterizes the sun's interior and the various components of magnetic activity HMI will take high resolution measurements of the longitudinal and vector magnetic field over the entire visible solar disk thus extending the capabilities of SOHO's MDI instrument. HMI produces data to determine the interior sources and mechanisms of solar variability and how the physical processes inside the sun are related to surface magnetic field and activity. It also produces data to enable estimates of the coronal magnetic field for studies of variability in the extended solar atmosphere. HMI observations will enable establishing the relationships between the internal dynamics and magnetic activity in order to understand solar variability and its effects. Topic Extreme Ultraviolet Variability Experiment EVE The Extreme Ultraviolet Variability Experiment EVE measures the sun's extreme ultraviolet irradiance with improved spectral resolution, temporal cadence, accuracy, and precision over preceding measurements made by Time C, SOHO, and Source XPS. The instrument incorporates physics-based models in order to further scientific understanding of the relationship between solar EUV variations and magnetic variation changes in the Sun The Sun's output of energetic extreme ultraviolet photons is primarily what heats the Earth's upper atmosphere and creates the ionosphere. Solar EUV radiation output undergoes constant changes, both moment to moment and over the Sun's 11 year solar cycle, and these changes are important to understand because they have a significant impact on atmospheric heating, satellite drag, and communications system degradation, including disruption of the global positioning system. The EVE instrument package was built by the University of Colorado at Baldur's Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics, with Dr. Tom Woods as principal investigator, and was delivered to Goddard Space Flight Center on September 7, 2007. The instrument provides improvements of up to 70% in spectral resolution measurements in the wavelengths below 30 nm, and a 30% improvement in «time cadence» by taking measurements every 10 seconds over a 100% duty cycle. <laughs> Atmospheric Imaging Assembly The Atmospheric Imaging Assembly led from the Lockheed Martin Solar and Astrophysics Laboratory provides continuous full-disc observations of the solar chromosphere and corona in seven extreme ultraviolet channels, spanning a temperature range from approximately 20,000 Kelvin to in excess of 20 million Kelvin. The 12 second cadence of the image stream with 4096 by 4096 pixel images at 0.6 arcsec pixel provides unprecedented views of the various phenomena that occur within the evolving solar outer atmosphere. 
The IA Science Investigation is led by LMSAL, which also operates the instrument and, jointly with Stanford University, runs the Joint Science Operations Center from which all of the data are served to the worldwide scientific community, as well as the general public. LMSAL designed the overall instrumentation and led its development and integration. The four telescopes providing the individual light feeds for the instrument were designed and built at the Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory since beginning its operational phase on 1 May 2010, IA has operated successfully, with unprecedented EUV image quality. Photographs of the Sun in these various regions of the spectrum can be seen at NASA's SDO data website http sdogsfcnasagovernor slash data Images and movies of the Sun seen on any day of the mission, including within the last half hour, can be found at http colon slash slash sdowww.lmsal.com slash sunday slash Topic Communications SDO down links science data K band from its two onboard high gain antennas, and telemetry S band from its two onboard omnidirectional antennas. The ground station consists of two dedicated redundant 18 meter radio antennas in White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico, constructed specifically for SDO. Mission controllers operate the spacecraft remotely from the Mission Operations Center at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. The combined data rate is about 130 megabits per second, 150 megabits per second with overhead, or 300 missimbols s with rate one half convolutional encoding, and the craft generates approximately 1.5 terabytes of data per day, equivalent to downloading around 500,000 songs. Topic: <laughs> Launch. NASA's Launch Services Program at Kennedy Space Center managed the payload integration and launch. The SDO launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Space Launch Complex 41, utilizing an Atlas V-401 rocket with a Rode 180-powered Common Core booster, which has been developed to meet the Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle program requirements. Orbit. After launch, the spacecraft was placed into an orbit around the Earth with an initial perigee of about 2,500 km 1, miles. SDO then underwent a series of orbit-raising maneuvers which adjusted its orbit until the spacecraft reached its planned circular, geosynchronous orbit at an altitude of 35,789 km 22,238 miles, at 102 degrees west longitude, inclined at 28.5 degrees. Sun dog phenomenon Moments after launch, SDO's Atlas V rocket flew past a sun dog hanging suspended in the blue Florida sky, and when the rocket penetrated the cirrus cloud, shock waves rippled through the cloud and destroyed the alignment of the crystals of the sun dog, making a visible rippling effect in the sky. Camilla Camilla Corona is a rubber chicken similar to a children's toy, and is the mission mascot for NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory It is part of the education and public outreach team and assists with various functions to help educate the public, mainly children, about the SDO mission, facts about the sun and space weather. Camilla also assists in cross-informing the public about other NASA missions and space-related projects. Camilla Corona SDO uses social media to interact with fans. Image gallery See also Heliophysics Radiation belt storm probes Richard R. Fisher Solar and Heliospheric Observatory Stereo Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory launched 2006 still operational Wind spacecraft launched 1994 still operational List of heliophysics missions Topic References Topic <references> <references> External links 
Solar Dynamics Observatory (SDO) mission website. Where is the Solar Dynamics Observatory (SDO) right now? SDO outreach material: Hellas. Inbound SOHO comet disintegrates as seen in SDO IA images. Cometal, July 14, 2011. History of SDO patch. Facebook. Sunspot database based on SDO HMI satellite observations from 2010 to nowadays with the newest data. Album of images and videos by Sean Doran, based on SDO imagery Instruments Extreme Ultraviolet Variability Experiment University of Colorado Atmospheric Imaging Assembly Lockheed Martin Helioseismic and Magnetic Imager Stanford Joint Science Operations Center, Science Data Processing HMI, IA